So we're back out here for part two of our F550 series of uh, videos. Uh, and we're going to talk about custom fabrication and custom finishes on this uh, part of the uh, videos. So on the front end here, we, uh, we ordered a buck stop bumpers front bumper. This is an all aluminum bumper and it is custom built to fit the DBL flares. Typically their bumpers are aluminum and all the upright area is steel. Uh, this client definitely wanted everything to be all aluminum. So we were able to get uh, DBL to build these uprights out of aluminum and ship them as a loose piece. Uh, but they were unable to do all the tube work that we wanted done. So we got the two pieces in. Uh, we mocked up the bumper and realized that they had widened up the front end. So after a series of meetings with the clients, uh, we ended up bringing these closer together. We actually redid these slots. Uh, it was a square hole and round hole on the corners. We went to two squares to accommodate, or two rounds to accommodate the round lights. And, and completely redesigned the thing, kind of reshaped all the corners. Uh, the winch plate all worked out well, the tow hooks, things like that. Um, all the upper tubing we built, built in-house ourselves, bent all those. Uh, the owner really wanted to be able to see uh, the LED ring there around the uh, OEM headlights that we upgraded this truck to with the LEDs. Uh, we customized the bracketry for the uh, Baja Designs light bars. Uh, you can see that custom tube work there with the bosses we welded on to both the lights too. Uh, really turned out nice. Uh, if you look kind of down the side, it, it really ties in super nice with the DBL fender flares. When we were all said and done, this gut bumper got a full nice heavy coat of the IXS aliphatic resin uh, coatings. Uh, it's from their Line-X Ultra line. Uh, it, it's an amazing coating. It's shiny, it's still slick, and it doesn't fade, it doesn't chalk like your typical uh, truck bed linings. Uh, it's a little thinner coating, as you can see, but it doesn't have near the rough texture to it. It really turns out nice. And with that coating, we're able to continue it right on around the truck. Uh, the DBL flares that uh, we cut out the fender wells for and installed got the same coating on them. Uh, really turned out nice. Uh, redid the inner fender liners. Uh, they come with some plastic accessories and the factory lining. So at the end of the day, it's a nice clean look. Uh, and, and you get all the tire clearance you need with that minimal two inch lift. Took that same coating right down the side of the truck to protect the rockers. We know with these big tires, there's gonna be rocks. This truck's gonna get used off road. So we put that lining down the side. It really does a good job of, of protecting that. You can kind of see we've driven it around a little here locally and just even the road spray is, is covering it up. That takes us to the back bed area here. So this truck came in with a steel flat bed. Uh, you can kind of see that framework, this headache rack and this frame here. I had stake pockets and rub rails. It had holes in it, had different lights. We stripped all that off because it wasn't needed in this build application and got it down to just the basic framework, infilled all those holes, uh, added the fuel fillers up inside the rail rather than uh, underneath where they typically are. Uh, these work out really nice, little flip top jobs. Nice and clean look that way to it and, and got rid of the stuff we didn't need. Got rid of the hangers from the tie down straps. And then we started off with the custom boxes and these are all aluminum. Typical construction for us with comp compression latches, stainless steel hinges. Uh, we kind of mixed them up with different sizes uh, for different applications. These here are really nice because they're actually a step. Gives you the ability to jump up here and tie that buggy down. So we did that all the way around. You can see it again here. Same thing, another step. Really works out well to be able to tie the buggy down on something this tall. These upper boxes give you a ton of storage. Got this large one here. Uh, this is an electrical box here. We'll talk about it in the electrical side of things. You can see everything's been matted out. Uh, works really well. Even these little tapered areas, we went ahead and put a door on there and it allowed us from uh, some little storage for straps and tie down things. You can see the socket there, one of them for the spitz lift we'll talk about a little later on. Uh, we got our winch control switch in here. Nice, nice tidy job as far as that goes. So you can kind of start to see 
the back of the bed here and what we created with this ramp situation to be able to drive the buggy up on here. Uh, so we'll have some pull out ramps here we'll pull out for you. And then we have uh, L track tie down complete everywhere on this truck. That way he can use wheel baskets. Uh, we have adjustable wheel stops that will be used to kind of help anchor the buggy once it's pulled up on. It's a little steep to drive so you wanted to make sure that winch could pull it up on there. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this bed from the top view and uh, give you a little clear, cleaner shot of what all it does. So we'll start with a nice bird's eye view of the top of this truck bed up here. Uh, starting up front, you can see the back of the headache rack there. You can see the light bars we mounted uh, forward facing uh, for drivability. And you also see some load lights there, uh, the smaller light bars. Those work really well to see what's going on up here. Uh, starting in the center, you can see the worn Axon uh, 45S winch with a custom mount tied into that headache rack. And that'll be utilized to load the side-by-side. -side. Um, below it right there, you see about a 90-gallon fuel tank. Uh, that'll be for storage for his buggy. You can see the electrical fuel pump there. Uh, the fuel nozzle is stored on a box on the other side with the cutoff switch there. Uh, when you're carrying around this, you know, 41 inch spare, you got to have a convenient spot for it. So it's on top of a deck covering up the ramps here, right in the center of the bed. See the tie down straps. Uh, this tire, quite easy to change with the spitz lift that go in these pockets. Uh, it'll sling right onto it, swing it off the side of the truck and lower it to the ground. Take your flat tire, put it right back up here. Uh, you can see some of those custom saddles we talked a little bit about. That's for that winch line to go down and through to the back. Uh, when we get back there to look at the ranch, you'll see where that kind of comes in. And then this deck here is a removable deck, uh, but we have more tie-down track on it. We can carry gear here, an extra spare tire for the buggy, whatever you might have. You can see a nice look up here with the full tie-down track running the full length. Now he can use wheel baskets, tie-down straps, whatever he wants to secure that uh, buggy with. It, it, we have availability of a tie down point for it. So we're back down here on the ground again at the back. You can see that second saddle and again now you see that winch line trough basically coming all the way down going right out to the buggy. That way he can winch this thing directly up on there and not have to drive it. We have a winch control right here on the side where the uh, winch controller will plug right in. So it should work out really well for him. These ramps, as you've seen earlier, were secured by these removable locking knobs that thread right into the bed and have a key lock on them. This keeps them from rattling around, also keeps them secure from somebody being able to grab onto them. They are aluminum ramps, so they're not hatefully heavy. One person can easily handle them. As you can see from the back here, we have uh, UHMW strips on them, so they glide easily over top of that uh, textured coating. And they do have a catch on them, so they lock in. So over here on the passenger side of the uh, bed, we added a custom box down below here, a little longer box to carry different tools. Again, we got a step place here as well to help him get up and tie down the buggy. On these upper boxes, this first one, uh, this contains the, the fuel nozzle uh, for the onboard fuel tank for, for the side-by-side with a kill switch right here for it, so he's got an emergency shut off. Uh, this box here houses the spitz lift we'll be talking about and, and the purpose of it and, and the practicality and how it all works out. And again, we have our little strap storage box back here uh, with a spitz mount uh, tucked away in there. Uh, custom mud flaps because of the size of the wheel, size of the tire, you don't buy those off the shelf every day. Again, you see our coatings throughout. This, this coating on this truck bed is a two-step process. Uh, we use two different products, so we get the thicker texture, the heavier build, get a lot more thickness and a lot more durability to it. So the first step in this process is an aromatic coating for my XS. Uh, it gives us the nice thick build, the durability. But on the aromatic side, your typical bed liners, they always fade in chalk. So we start with that process, and then we do a second coat of the aliphatic resin, which is what we use the thinner stuff on the front. That seals this all up, gives it cleanability, gets rid of the chalking, and keeps it nice and black for years to come. As we finish up on this custom side, uh, our next video is going to detail all the electrical work. This truck had a lot of components with it, and they all had to be powered up.